Good morning, this is Seth Nagel with the National Weather Service here in San Angelo, Texas. This is the morning weather briefing for Thursday, August 3rd, 2023. Once again, the main concern for today across the area will be the heat that we've been experiencing this summer. Um, we have a heat advisory in place for most of West Central Texas with an excessive heat warning just to our east where humidity is a little bit higher and heat index values will be higher. The uh, heat advisory will be in effect during the afternoon and evening hours. Uh, where temperatures will get up in, you know, close to 103 or warmer. And, uh, of course, these kind of temperatures will increase the risk for heat-related illnesses. Uh, as always, make sure you're drinking lots of water, uh, non-alcoholic non drinks. Uh, if you can avoid strenuous outdoor work or activities, uh, please try to do so. If that's not possible, try to take as many breaks as you can and, uh, when you take those breaks, uh, try to get into an air-conditioned building or under some shade at least. And uh, once again, never leave any children or pets in uh, unattended vehicles. In addition to the heat, uh, or maybe uh, partially because of the heat, we uh, continue to see uh, critical fire weather conditions uh, across our eastern portions um, where we'll have winds uh, 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusts up to 25 miles an hour, and possibly higher. We did see some gusts over 30 miles an hour yesterday across parts of the area. Relative humidities will drop down into the 15 to 25% range for the entire area. And uh, fuels are critically to extremely dry, and that's uh, one of the main drivers for this critical fire weather threat. So, uh, of course, try to avoid any activity that might uh, create a spark or flame, uh, especially in the areas where we have red flag warning in effect but also even in our western counties where uh, we maybe not be hitting uh, critical fire weather concerns, but uh, there is an elevated fire weather threat as well. For the extended forecast, we're gonna continue to see these hot temperatures. In fact, uh, from Friday into the weekend, we could see temperatures even warm up a few degrees. We've got highs uh, potentially getting into the 105 to 108 degree range for much of the area on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so we'll probably be continuing the heat advisories and we may need some excessive heat warnings, especially Saturday and Sunday. Monday into Tuesday, there is still the possibility of a weak cold front moving into our northern counties where we could see highs dip down into the upper 90s and maybe even a slight chance for some showers or thunderstorms uh, those days as well. Uh, We'll warm back up quickly by the middle of next week with highs getting into the 105 to potentially near 110 degrees for next Wednesday and Thursday, but we'll keep an eye on that as we get closer to it in time. Uh, the elevated fire weather threat will continue into next week as we continue to see these very hot temperatures and no real significant sign of uh, good precipitation for most of the area. That is the morning weather briefing for this Thursday morning. Please check back tomorrow morning for an updated brief. Thanks.